Hello boys and girls and welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about a little tips and tricks I have up my sleeve when it comes to EFT. And of course, uh, we're going to improve some quality of gameplay when it comes to your experience in Escape from Tarkov. These, these are convenience for me, uh, maybe they are not for you, but these are the I make changes to the game that I like uh, to have and uh, it makes my experience in Tarkov a little bit better in my opinion. These are tips and tricks that I use in my gameplay and you have probably seen them on other channels as well. Um, streamers or YouTubers show me these, but now I'm going to show you mine from my perspective. So let's uh, let's crack into it, like Pestilence says. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is actually the settings I have in NVIDIA for uh, this game. Uh, I've experimented a lot of, uh, with the settings in NVIDIA to improve the stability and of course FPS as well in this game. And these are the settings, settings I'm using right now. First, the first one is like, Scroll down, uh, scroll down a little bit and of course you need to add this to uh, the game itself in NVIDIA so please look this up in another guide there are thousands of guides showing you how to unlock your FPS uh, and stability in the game so what I've been doing and what I've been using of this patch that actually made the game a little bit better for me and uh, I've Turn off low latency mode, and uh, so that's off. I've done monitor technology fixed refresh rate. I've done power, uh, power management mode to um, prefer maximum performance. I've, I have done also shader cache on on. The next thing I've done is turn, like I said, uh, shader cache is on. But the next thing is texture filtering and uh, sample option there, and that is on. Uh, texture filtering, negative thawed bias, allow. Texture filtering, quality performance. Texture filtering, trilinear uh, optimization on. And threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, vertical sync, fast. And this is the main reason you want to do this, is basically unlocking your FPS and making your graphic card uh, do a little bit of heavy lifting, lifting and and of course do some more performance as well so basically you turn this to either off all the way and that will actually make it go even higher in fps but i've done like i've done fast for just because nvidia has this option of off or fast and fast is a really good option and um, to use because it's a it, it's something in between off and basically vert vertical sync on basically and uh, it uses the functionality of off so you unlimit your uh, frames but as well you don't um, tear the picture that much uh, yeah you can read up about it exactly what it does but i like to have it on this because it unlocks the frames uh, and you don't get like 100% usage of your graphics card all the freaking time. Um, it actually uh, turns down a little bit sometimes and so on. So it doesn't push as much frames uh, that you don't need, need. Like you can get probably 500 FPS or something. <laughs> uh, if you have that turned off all the way. So the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm not an expert on this because I don't have an AMD card myself, but this is what you basically do on AMD side. So what you want to do is I've taken this from the internet straight off, basically, is the information I got. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm not an expert on AMD just because I haven't, haven't one of those graphics cards myself. But what you want to do is tag this weight for vertical sync that little box you want to turn off and that may uh, makes the application in this case uh, EFT makes the application uh, work by itself um, and 
unlimited the frames, of course, the old way. Um, so you can get those nice crispy 200 frames if uh, your graphic the graphics card is capable of delivering it. Uh, but like I said, I'm not an expert on this, but um, look this up a little bit further if you want to. But this is basically what you want to do. Turn vertical, uh, wait for vertical refresh rate that you want to turn off and let the application decide for itself. And you can add a profile to the specific game as well, not use global uh, global graphics settings, like you can tag it to EFT itself if you want to. So um, this is tagged to actually something else um, that I'm going to show you as well, and that I'm going to show you in game. Here in game, we are going to go into settings, graphics and check the vsync box on and this will make uh, your game um, get those fps like unlimited fps and uh, that it can perform uh, and of course you can tinker around a little bit uh, with your graphic settings you shouldn't like copy mine because they're could be go good for some of you, but some of you maybe have a different hardware and so on. So it may be a little bit different. And that quality between high performance and good looking game may differ and be different for you because of your hardware. So maybe look up a guide or on something that is more appropriate to you when it comes to your hardware and what type of settings in graphics, the gra graphics tab you should have. But of course, do this, and this is connected to everything prior we have done in AMD and of course in Nvidia. But we can look what do we have get for uh, for FPS FPS here in game. I can type. So uh, with typing in in console FPS one, I um, can see my FPS uh, box over there in the right corner, and we get 280 FPS. If we now should have shoes and like fast vertical sync in NVIDIA settings instead of um, off, we should have gone with like probably closer to 400 FPS in game, but it will use 100% of the graphics card all the time, even though it can't deliver any more frames. That's why I'm using like fast instead, because in game, it will deliver the most frames you can and it will not work harder than that. But if it's off, it will deliver as much frames as it can and work 100% either way and try to deliver more even though it can deliver more frames. I'm talking about the graphics card, of course. But do this and like I said, tinker around with your settings to get that um, balance between performance and quality in game that you like and it's working good for you so we will take and take away this fps box again type in that in console and we are done now we're done in settings you should hit save the and uh, these settings are connected to the last thing we did in uh, amd and nvidia ad, uh, as i told you but what we're going to do now is close down the game and go out to windows again so let's go over there. So go to your documents folder, go to escape from Tarkov and local ini file. Open that with a notepad. And here you can set and see every set settings you have in game in the graphics tab, uh, but in more like a text form. And the only thing I want you to do here, and this is my second tip, uh, is that actually you turn Bloom off. Like this should probably be on one for you, but turn this to zero instead and close. Go to file and save and close this tab. And this happens every time you basically um, do something in the graphics tab. It will change this bloom effect to one and you don't need it. Uh, it takes a little bit of a performance hit if you have that on, but if you turn it off, you gain a couple more fps in my experience so and it doesn't have a big impact on the visuals of the game 
to do that and that will be awesome actually and okay the last tip let's go and look at that my last tip here is actually have some kind of um quick buttons on your mouse i have a g502 uh light speed a wireless mouse and it works awesome and this is the best mouse i have it I've had in a long time but what you should do is go into like uh, this will be called in english like tasks or something and you should aim this to escape from tarkov or change it to escape from tarkov but this is different from every mouse manufacturer so this is a logitech brand so this is direct and um, i can only show you in how i'm doing it in logitech Maybe if you have a Corsair one, you have to tinker around a bit, a bit with it to find the exact tabs and how to do it in that software. But basically what I've done is like I have here a short command for ammo and I've spelled that wrong, but I don't care. Um, and here I have the delete button uh, on this uh, little nice button over here. And on the side I have like B here. And I have uh, forward and backwards. Those two buttons I use as well. Like we look here at ammo. Uh, of course, I just press that button. And what he will do is actually do the command Alt T and check my ammo. Uh, see how much is left in the mag and delete. Of course, instead of reaching over to the delete key on my keyboard, I can just hover over a uh, item and press that button and it will throw it away in, in stash uh, or in your inventory it will like discard it basically and of course on the side here uh, b is for switching like my um, fire rate or fire mode from auto to same same or burst or whatever and that's very convenient probably have seen me if you watch my streams i've toggled from same single to auto uh, very many times during a uh, raid and that's why I um, have it on my mouse button and um, so it's more convenient for me and forward and backwards here the last two buttons are actually for changing like scopes and uh, so if you have two scopes on your gun you can change between those two and change like magnification on them or like reticle or something like that and that's very cool well really convenient and i like really uh, suggest that you should do a similar thing with your mouse uh, to have like short buttons on your mouse to do different tasks in escape from tarkov so these are my three tips for escape from tarkov basically these will improve your life a lot when it comes to like performance and when it comes to like handling the game i'm not saying it's going to make you a elite player like probably ghost freak or something like that uh, but it's going to make your life easier and uh, really much easier the only thing i would say that is a tip as well if you have a delete key the delete key mapped to a mouse button be careful with that i have done so many times i've done in raid i've like should have deleted something and i'm just hover, hovering over it and push that key or button on the mouse and it deletes it or toss it tosses uh, tosses it on the ground and i have to pick it up and two seconds later just because of that uh, i'm dead because i wasn't paying that attention to my environment you know be careful about that and if you think my resolution is a little bit weird um like i haven't 1440 i have 1439 instead of 1440 i suggest you going to ghost freaks but channel uh, or his youtube i think it is on his uh, twitch actually so go to you uh, ghost freaks Twitch channel and look up when it comes to the resolution over there he has a really good uh, clip that shows why he has uh different resolution that I suggested and why it, uh, it toggles to frames so basically it limits 
doesn't limit your frame as much as um, some other resolutions do and it basically doesn't do anything when it comes to quality or anything like that it just does like a weird take away a weird bug when it comes to the frames so guys that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video check me out live uh, when i stream on twitch hit uh, the like button on this video if you think it's uh, good information and of course consider subscribing as well if you want more content here on youtube from me but i hope to see you soon have a great day bye bye